Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're playing Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, specifically, we're continuing our People's Republic of China playthrough. In our last episode, we... Uh, looks like Hungary just joined the Axis, but um, in our last playthrough, we allied with the Soviet Union and drove the Japanese out of Manchuria, uh, northern China, Korea. Uh, we, we took back French Indochina from them and took it for ourselves. And then we crushed Siam in about a week flat when they joined the war. And now we've sent 90 divisions under Field Marshal Mao Zedong to the Soviet Union to help drive back the fascist threat in Poland. So, without further ado, my strategic counteroffensive against the Nazis. Alright, so I'm now at war with them. Uh, they're a kingdom, so they probably won't join the war for a while. And the idea with what I'm doing up here is to cut off all the forces that just took Leningrad. And it looks like it's mostly succeeding so far. Uh, yeah. So, we managed to cut off all the forces up north, which is good. That needed to happen. Uh, we got some resistance now. I um, think we should be fine, though. The sudden appearance of, uh, you know, 90 divisions on the front line seems to have shifted the balance a bit. And we're going to try and halt our offensive at basically what the borders of the Soviet Union would be if they had uh, actually honored the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. And then over here, we're actually just spamming out paratrooper divisions because we're going to be using those to invade Japan and end the war over here. Uh, first, we're going to hit Taiwan, though because Taiwan is a core, and it'll give us more resources and a staging point for further invasions. Kind of surprised that none of these three joined. Usually they join the common turn. I might boost popularity on them. In fact, I'm definitely going to boost popularity on them, which means that I can stop boosting on... Uh, hmm... I should, but I'm not going to, because I have a huge surplus of political power. Can stop, won't stop, basically. Looks like the offensive is mainly going well on the stream left flank and in the center. Uh, all of these divisions are now without supply lines, so that's going to be a victory. And yeah. Uh, let's see. It's amazing what just having, you know, 90 infantry divisions can do for you. They have low supplies, but that's to be expected because we're trying to fight World War II at, on the other side of the planet. We'll take back Minsk, and then push Australia once military access, sure. Get these guys around there. Get these guys around there. We took back Leningrad, so the uh, overall goal of the offensive has been successful. We're just going to carry it forward to its uh, logical conclusion. I am a little bit worried about the fresh divisions from Hungary because Hungary gets pretty strong late in the game, or you know, basically into the mid game. 
And we're just going to encircle and destroy all of these divisions. Doing a little bit of manual control just to make sure it goes right. And I think 24 is going to be enough, so I'm going to cancel out some of those, drop four more divisions, stop, put them in a thing, set them to train, and uh, let's see, how's my military equipment? Yep, I have a huge, huge surplus of military equipment, so we're going to cut production down a little bit and start building fighters so that we get that eventual uh, air superiority we're going to need over China if we want to be able to win. And we're going to shift over to fighter production. even though we have almost none of the aluminum that we need to do that with. Soviets will, Soviets will cover it though. Okay, let's see. That about covers it. And uh, let's learn how to do tanks and nukes. Let's learn how to do nukes. Well, so that's uh, that half of the German army destroyed. We've got them up at 1.2 1. 1. million casualties. And we're just going to continue the offensive. It stalled out a little bit, but uh, it should pick up again once uh, all of his other forces get back on the line. But even if I stopped here, that's uh, that's fine. This was a good offensive. Uh, I've pushed all the way out to really just the edge of Ukraine, and uh, I'm on the edge of Poland. A couple of Polish territories I do control, like mainly in uh, Wolin and uh, policy. Yep, and we're just gonna keep going down there. Oh god, that gives us 5% five, <laughs> 5 more manpower? That's gonna be crazy. Like we're not even at our full uh, full conscription law, and we're already at 8.2 million. And you get on the line. We're actually losing entire divisions to just straight attrition right now, so we're going to chill. I wonder if we have anything for attrition. Nope, of course not. See if we can't trap another set of divisions here. Yeah, 
Yeah, because if we can push and take uh, Grodno or uh, Wil or Vilnius, then we'll um, we'll trap all that whole pocket up there by Minsk. It's more efficient than just going for Minsk. Let's we'll see how bad my supply lines are. So to get here, I have to I have to cross Asia. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty bad. Uh, I, the war would go smoother if I just gave all of that to Russia as a. Uh, expeditionary force, but that's no fun. Push, push. Using these divisions to fix them in place. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to catch them because they are being kind of crafty, but uh, I can try, you know. How's my war participation? So I've got 42%, they're at 58. Uh, their participation mainly comes from bombing. Mine is mainly from occupation. Uh, I have fewer casualties as well. But, I mean, that can be fixed. And voila, encirclement. Come on. All right, and that's the bulk of that set of uh, German divisions captured. Took back Minsk. I'm about to take back Vilnius, or Vilno, as it's written here. And yeah, I'm trying to keep the zoom where I need it to be, but it just keeps going kind of spazzy, but eh. And yeah, so we captured all of these divisions. They're completely dead. There's nothing that they can do to break out of that now. These three will join the Soviet Union eventually. Kind of annoyed that the nationalist Span or uh, Spanish joined the war on the Axis side. They've done that just about every game I've played now, though, so I'm not really surprised so much as annoyed. Japan is still trying crafty shit on my border, but that's to be expected. They're training. Just build more divisions. Build them 24 at a time. You know, entire army groups going down and just 
the most casual afterthought manner. So it looks like we captured a bunch more German divisions there. Uh, they're up to 1.4 million. And that's going to be... Uh, we're low on oil. Let's see what we can do about oil. Get some from the Raj, I guess. Gotta find it from somebody I don't have to go uh, overseas for. Iran doesn't have enough to, s to trade, but the Soviets can trade more, so we'll get more from them. We still have a deficit? No? Alright, good. The more we can get from the Soviet Union, the better, because they're not likely to uh, get broken off from us. I don't have to worry about losing a province and having them uh, no longer be able to trade with me. And yeah, we've got uh, all of this set up just to uh, hold ground. Got a few divisions that are assigned to keeping down uh, resistance, but the, re the majority of it is set up to, uh, uh, let's see, hold on. Give me your resources. Nah, it's not working. So we'll just chill on that. Uh, all of it, most of it's ours, like uh, we're mainly on cores right now. We're not really occupying any hostile territory other than Korea. And over here it's just a war of attrition now, which is... Eh, it's kind of annoying, but... My supply lines aren't really what they need to be to support a large offensive. Hey, come on. And yeah, I could just give that entire army group to the Soviets, but um, I don't want to. It would work better, the uh, supplies would be a little bit easier to manage, but I don't want to. There's just something miserable about fighting along this corridor, you know? Because uh, it gave us trouble in our France playthrough, and it's giving us trouble now. But the Germans will fold eventually because they are suffering huge losses. Yeah, like if you see here, they've got 2.17 million in that war, and then a further uh, 1.4 million in our war. And they definitely can't match the manpower that we can put out. Tanu what? Oh, they annexed Tanatuva. Rip Tanatuva. Tanatuva. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Honestly, I'd probably be best served by pulling my divisions off of the line, letting them recoup, and then sending them back. So that's what I'm gonna do. All divisions halt and withdraw. And the Soviets really honestly should have this under control by now. Like no, 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 not what I want you to do. I want you to withdraw. And 
and recoup. Yeah, the supply situation on that front line is just not helpful. What I could do is declare war on Romania and use that to sweep like that and try to get around them on the flank. There are a lot of victory points through this corridor. You've got uh, Prague, Munich, Vienna, Bratislava, and Budapest that are all worth uh, about a hundred altogether. But like Germany hasn't even managed to drive the allies out of the low countries yet, so yeah. Alright, and now I'm gonna put him. Come on, no, no, no. Alright, and then I put him back on the front. And the new offensive goal is going to be like so. Basically, you should knock out the uh, remainder of their allies. Sure. And launch the offensive. And we'll come back to that in a little while. Let's see, what are we building? Uh, infrastructure everywhere. Got it. Trying to get everything up to five, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are there any resources I could grab up that would help me? Um, no, not short of invading Malaya. <coughs> oh well. I'm just gonna let it run now, and uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. I'm just steadily building up a stockpile of fighters right now. I have 300 of them, so. There's Konigsberg falling up there to the top. Looks like we only caught one division there, but it's still a major city that we just took. And yeah, the Germans are collapsing all along the front now. Hopefully they contain the Allies long enough that the Allies don't gain much ground. Alright, my paratroopers are done training, so I'm going to assign them a general. Uh, find them a port. Uh, I, I should have been building an uh, airfield on one of these a little bit sooner. So, cancel all this shit. Build some air bases. some other shit going. Uh, supply situation is failing again over here, but that's fine. I'm gonna be, be uh, kind of tricky about this. Well, nope, let's see. Nah, they think I have an unfair share of the territory, even though almost all of what's occupied is cores.
Alright, uh, these guys I'm going to start moving over here with the goal of uh, basically get a, it's going to be get a beachhead via the uh, airdrop and then drop a whole bunch of divisions in to re reinforce them and then try to push up the peninsula or push up the island rather. Uh, let's see. We're not getting bombed anymore, so this isn't really useful. We'll do doctor. So that'll give us one more, basically, free doctrine. Honestly, we could push Berlin at this point. They still don't want to give me a state, so. My war participation is sitting about even at 42%. But it'll go up when I go and hit the uh, Japanese islands. I wonder. I wonder whether if I put all you know, literally everything I have on it, if I can win air superiority over the East China Sea, and if I can, whether it will be possible to drop on any of these, and it doesn't look like it will be, I could hit here. by Slovakia. Let's try a drop on Taiwan. Oh, nice. And we'll use that to then drop on uh, Okinawa. And basically we're just going to island hop. Unfortunately, we have shit for a supply situation down here. Ooh, hey, we, we took uh, Berlin, apparently. Eh. Yay, China. Nice. Yep, Chinese, Chinese troops take Berlin in 1942. <laughs> uh, this game sometimes, you know. Oh. Shit, we really need that port. Alright, there we go. So we're taking Taiwan, which I believe is a core. Yep, it's a core. Mine now. And we're slowly pushing out all over Europe, so the war is basically over in 1942, which I like. It's good news. I'm wondering if I can get the war to go on long enough to get the um, Yalta Conference event. That would be fun. Whoops. Nope. The mean time to happen for it is like 15 days, so I don't think we're going to get it to go off. I think we might have gotten in a little bit too early, to be honest. And we'll take Taiwan. Just like that. Let's 
see. They actually need to get to uh, half towards capitulation before we can sign the Alta Conference event, so I need to take another major city without them also then exiting the war. And I don't know if it's going to go down like that. They're sitting pretty at 46%. Uh, England is trying to cut off my expansion. Well, let's see. Let's send forces towards Munich. And we'll just trust the, uh, we'll trust the Soviets to cover any gaps that we create. And the Germans are now at 56, so we might get Yalta. Yep, Yalta Conference. Oh. I don't think the U.S. is going to get the chance to join the war. Yeah, no, they're not going to have the chance. I'm going to take out Japan before Japan has the chance to do Pearl Harbor. Building a port garrison unit for uh, Taiwan. Alright, and now I don't really care how this goes down as long as I win. Oh, shit. Nah, they'll be fine. And if they're not, it's whatever. Alright, so I have to take Frankfurt, and then they'll basically drop out of the war. And I don't really care if I lose divisions, I've got plenty. them to Taiwan. And be prepared to drop on another. Actually, I think our airfield up there is about ready. So we're gonna, gonna take them and try to make try to get them across there. And if it doesn't work then eh, whatever, you know. And just like that, uh, just immediately a Japanese division in my damn way. Well, yep, that's about par for the course to be honest. So if I lose a division, I'm not too, not too bothered by that. Uh, I'll replace them pretty easily. Well, I'm glad to see their navy is still intact. Alright, so yeah, their their thing is now to hold this island. I don't care about the coast. I just want to, you know. Yeah, there we go. So I lost a, div a division in transit, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and transfer everyone back up to uh, Korea. Germany should be about dead by now. Yep, Germany's gone. Let's see if we can't talk the Soviets into giving us a state. Uh, let's see, I want I want Poland. I can't have what? Well, okay, so I, I can't have Poland.
Oh, that's fine. I don't know what Poland anyway. Alright, so all of these divisions are now assigned to that front. We have to knock out, it looks like, uh, yeah, Italy and Japan before the war will be over, so. Just gonna go right on ahead and draw my offense line. And launch, because I'm not super confident in the ability of Italy to stop me at this point. Uh, Hungary might be a different case though, so we'll see, whatever. At this point I'm just trading casualties for war score. Because honestly there's no reason not to. And yeah, uh, we're just gonna kind of just gonna kind of jump jump them at this point. Like uh, all we need to do is take Kyushu, and then we'll be fine. So if we have that under, I don't know why they're stacking on the. Eh. We always stack on the wrong shit. All right. So the way we're going to do this is we want Nagasaki. But the easiest way to take it is to hit there and then sweep. So And go. Okay, so it looks like they have three infantry divisions hanging out. I'm going to take five of them to take Kokura. And hope that I can take Nagasaki with the forces available. Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to, to be honest. That's uh, not ideal. Eh, it's fine though. If we die, we die. And remember, what is dead may never die. It rises again. Stronger. Harder. No, 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 no. Come on. And uh, uh, yeah, this is going to fail. Um, too many troops on uh, too many troops on Nagasaki, so all those divisions are dead, which is fine. Like I said, the the higher our casualties go, the more war score we get. So uh, no care. At 
but you know with that I think we're gonna call it uh, that's uh, Germany out of the war by 1942 Japan confined to its home island by 1940 or 1941 thereabouts and uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this if you'd like to see more like it then like and subscribe or leave a comment and I'll see you next time bye bye